Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited because today we have a really cool guy with a really cool business. So, um, Bob Bunch with Send Out Cards. Mm -hmm. And Bob, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. Well, have you start out, you have a really good business that you have going on with Send Out Cards. I just became familiar with it. I've noticed, but now that I'm familiar with it, I bumped into quite a few other people that are somewhat familiar with it and love it. But I'll have you start out by explaining to everyone the service you provide and also have you mentioned how you kind of stumbled upon it and got into that sort of business. Okay, yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, basically, you know how it's good, or most people would know it's a good idea to send a card in the mail. But the thing is, most people don't send as many cards as they know they should for all kinds of excuses. They run out of time, they forget about it, they put it off, and they never get around to it. Um, basically, send out cards is just a cutting edge technology that lets you send a handwritten card from your phone or computer. You can add a gift to it. Uh, it takes less than two minutes. The cards are only about a dollar. Um, and it's really designed to help busy professionals act on promptings because a prompting not acted on isn't really, um, not really worth it, <laughs> right? It's right. kind of like if, if I go to my wife and I'm like, you know, I had every intention of sending you flowers, yeah. but I didn't send her flowers. Yeah. Good intentions are good, but unless there's action added to it, it doesn't really count. <laughs> right. So what Send Out Cards does is it makes it very easy for someone to literally take their phone, act on that prompting, and it makes a huge difference in building those great relationships with their clientele. Very good deal. Very, very good deal. And this is, like you said, this is really good for a lot of people in the business world. Mm -hmm. A lot of people looking to thank someone for going out of their way for them or maybe sending a referral or whatever other value that they happen to bring to you. So um, I'll have you just explain how the process works when it comes to ordering the card and mm -hmm. or gifts, which we'll get into okay. at some, uh, in a few minutes here. So okay. how does the process work from, let's say right now I have someone that sent me a referral, I wanna send them a thank you, where do I start? Um, the easiest way to do it is if you actually go to, and I'll give you a unique website that you can go to, mm -hmm. it's sendoutcards.com forward slash, and then here's a number that you would use, 170348. Okay. So sendoutcards.com forward slash 170348. If you go there, you can actually send a card for free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Oh, so there's okay. enough credit on there where you can send a card to anybody. It could be a client, it could be a friend, or anyone like that, just to put a smile on their face. Okay. And if you saw value, wanted to check it out, then we can have a further conversation about it. Okay, so it's a free, um, it's kind of a sample of mm -hmm. the service. Yeah. Okay, and I'll, I'll put that info in, on the video, that way people can see it okay. as well. So, now, in, you have some really nice cards. I've actually received one from what really got me sold on it was uh, I someone sent the title company sent me uh thank you so mm -hmm. i thought it was really nice actually it was i uh, take that back the title it was a birthday present um mm -hmm. but i thought it was really cool um so you also do the cards but you can also you also have affordable options for gifts as well mm -hmm. how have you talk about the types of gifts you provide um, well, there's, I've got lots of really great stories I think that I could share with you about that. I'll, okay. I'll pick probably one of my favorites. There's okay. a friend of mine who's an attorney. Okay. And he had his second little kid, little girl. And like most people in today's day and age, they posted a picture of him holding his brand new baby girl on social media. Mm -hmm. So um, a daily method that I do in the mornings many times is I grab my phone and I'll look on Facebook and I'm looking for uh, reasons to appreciate people. Okay. Right? right? So I see this picture. So all I did was is I saved that picture to my phone. I opened up, and I did this while I was in bed before I even got up. Right, right. I added this picture to a card. Um, added a little note that was in my handwriting, and uh -huh. then I added a little uh, pink plush giraffe toy. I sent that to him. Wow. It took That's me cool. less than two minutes, and I sent that in the morning. That's amazing. Before I even brushed my teeth. You're not even, <laughs> you're not even out of bed. It was, it, it was great, because it was a great way. Now, he got that a week later, thank me for it so much, yeah. and I get referrals from him often. Um, so we have all different kinds of gifts. It can be gourmet food. It can be um, different kind of snacks, gift baskets, toys, books, CDs. 
um, all different kinds of things to really tailor what you would want to appreciate someone with that gift. Okay. And I mean, you kind of just, really, this is simple stuff. I don't have a ton of information to get out of you because this is really something that you really just got to go in and really go in and use and try out for yourself. I was going to ask you about the different types of occasions that this is good for and that sort of thing. I, I mean, it's kind of endless, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, birthdays, well, client, you know, yeah. clients' birthdays, special occasions, you know, births mm -hmm. of a new child. Um, it, it's, it doesn't have to be for a business. Right. Thank you. It mm -hmm. can be a personal, you know, absolutely. Uh, there's personal milestone or something of that nature. Yeah. As well, well there's, so. there's, there's like, there's seven basic categories. I can go through these very quickly. Right. Um, thank yous. Someone does business with you, they shoot you a referral, whatever, sending a thank you in the mail is a great way to show appreciation because not a lot of people are doing that that'll set you apart from your competition. Like you said, birthdays, everyone has one. So that's a good one to send as well. Right. Um, anniversaries, it doesn't have to be a marital anniversary. It could be the one year anniversary of when somebody you did business with. Um, then also holidays, the more unique holidays that you do, uh, the more memorable it'll be. So like Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, uh, Teacher's Day, things like that. That's really will set you apart from your competition. The other one is celebrations. So someone gets married, somebody moves, someone goes on vacation, someone has a kid, kids go to prom, whatever. When you recognize those things with your clients, um, it's going to help set you apart from your competition, increase retention and increase referrals, but then also recognition if someone loses some money. If right. somebody finds out they have cancer, someone gets into a car wreck, sending a sympathy type of card or something like that, again, is going to strengthen that relationship. But then the last category, it's important, but there's a reason it's last, and that's marketing. So that's when you're actually asking for something. What you'll notice with those first categories, yeah. you're adding value, adding value, adding value. I'm sure many of you that are watching this will be familiar with Gary Vanderchuk. He has right. the you know, jab, 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 right punch. Right. It's that same principle. It's recognition, 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 appreciation, marketing. Right. So you can use the cards in the same way. Right. Well, really cool. Well, really appreciate it. This will be a shorter episode, I guess, but um, really cool information, really cool business. How can people find you on social media, your website, and whatever other means of contact that you'd like to promote, I guess? Sure. Well, right. there's, there's three main ways you can find me. Um, if you go to robertbunch.com, that's my website. There's a lot of free content there that you can engage in. Um, I also have some things that might be able to help you with your business as well. Also, if you go to social media like Facebook or LinkedIn, if you do a search for Bob Bunch, everybody calls me Bob, all well, my friends call me Bob. Um, so if you go there, you can find me as well and you can shoot me messages and I'd love to do grab coffee and see how we can network together and help you grow your business as well. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. Really cool business. I look forward to placing my first order when we're done taping here and uh, thanks again. Awesome. Thanks, Bob. So, well, that concludes this week's episode of The Bob Wall Show. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I will see you guys next week as usual, and goodbye for now. Also, Lake Month is in July. I'm going to be at the Lake of the Ozarks taping a series of episodes, and I'm going to be featuring the Lake community all of July. So I'm looking forward to switching things up. So, um, you know, pay attention. Look, look for that to come as well. So thanks, thanks everyone. Goodbye for now. See you next week.